All right, so Joe, Marie, and Paul bought books. How much did Maria pay for one paperback and one hardcover? So we want to know what does P plus H, that's one P plus one H equal. Uh, these names here are just distractions. It doesn't matter. It's just, we, you know, whoever buys it. How much is one paperback plus one hardback? Okay. Classic GMAT. Um, so number one, Joe bought two paperback books and three hardcover books for twelve fifty. So we know two P plus three H equals twelve fifty. And then we can simplify there. But if we're looking at P plus H equals, this is not going to be enough. I mean, if it were like three P plus three H, then we could divide the whole thing by three and that get P plus H. But there's no, there's no one value we can multiply or divide this whole equation due to, to create P plus H. So that's not going to be sufficient on its own. Number two, Paul bought, so 4P plus 6H is $25. For the same reason, on this, let me sure to distinguish here. Just looking at number two alone, for the same reason, there's no, there's no one constant I can, you know, change this whole equation by to create P plus H. So that's not sufficient on its own. Now you might be tempted at this point to say, well, I have two equations with two variables. That's enough to solve, because that's the, the basic rule with systems of equations. If you have as many qu equations as you have variables, you can solve for them typically. The only exceptions being where um, uh, Yes, sometimes in a tricky way, a, a variable will cancel out, or, or if you only if you don't need to know p and h individually, you just need to know what they are added together. Then you know, you could maybe get away with not having as many equations as you have variables. And and the other um, problem with that logic is this situation where you actually do not have two unique uh, equations. Uh, 4p plus 6h equals 2500 is just number one. It's just the first equation times two. So in this case, it, it's, it, we actually don't have two equations for our two variables. Um, you know, this just one, this whole, this one divides by two, and we just get the same. It's, it's redundant. We get the same thing we had before. So even together, this is not going to be enough. E.